Welcome back everyone for 30 pieces of Terry Silver, Cobra Kai Season 4 Watch Party. One of the many shocking revelations at the end of Season 4 was that Terry Silver bribed the head referee, thus tainting Tori's win in the entire All Valley Tournament. The question is why and what are the effects? There's a few different perspectives to look at the question. There's the immediate and obvious character reason. Terry Silver wanted to win. But there's also deeper story reasons, and especially audience reasons. How are you supposed to feel about it is also important. Let's start with Terry Silver, the obvious character motivation. Silver wanted to win. He and Kreese had a dream of taking over Karate in the Valley, and he wanted to finally make that dream a reality. Now in my video on Terry Silver's plan, I covered his descent from respected ultra-rich man back to the crazed evil genius madman from Karate Kid 3. It included his return to using cocaine. I included this part. Kreese reawakened the snake inside him. He's full on Terry Silver from Karate Kid 3. It's party time. Well, in a recent interview on Cobra Kai Theory, Hayden responded to my assertion that Terry Silver is back as the Karate Kid 3 Terry. I know there's a lot of people online that talk about like, oh, he goes, he becomes Karate Kid 3 Terry at the end of the season. And I think there's elements of that that are clearly there, but also he is still the guy who remembers what happened in Karate Kid 3. So what Hayden is saying here is even though he's back on the cocaine, Whoa! and he's willing to fight and he's willing to fight dirty. Give her a shot to the other eye. She can't see, she can't fight. He remembers the mistakes of Karate Kid 3. Remember the game plan. First you win a point, then you lose a point. Keep the score 0-0. Zero, zero. Basically, Terry Silver devised the dumbest plan in history. They could have just won and expanded their dojos across the valley. Instead, Mike Barnes lost stupidly and it was all Terry Silver's idea. So yes, from that perspective, Hayden is right. Silver was not acting stupid in this tournament. He wanted to win. In fact, he wanted to win so bad he paid off the ref. He knew better than to leave it up to chance. That isn't to say he doubted his fighters. He trained them as hard as he could. They certainly were capable of winning. Robbie only got distracted by Kenny, and Tori can land three points on Sam. The payoff was like his insurance policy. But then isn't Hayden wrong here? Sure, he's smart enough not to blow the tournament with dumb strategies. He wants to win. But isn't how he wins still reverting back to Karate Kid 3 Terry Silver? Let's look. Uh, the grand jury, what do you intend to do about them? Bribe them as usual. Mr. Silver. Ah, yes. Even back then, Terry Silver was into bribing people. Oh, sure, Margaret was keeping him honest. But that definitely seems to be something on his mind. He was ready to bribe someone if he had to. Personally, I think it's better to believe Silver is back to his old Karate Kid 3 ways and bribing people to get what you want is the way to do it. The distinction is important because you know who wouldn't refuse to bribe the referee for Cobra Kai to win? Well, he would. He would. Ah, but this Terry Silver wouldn't do it. Terry Silver here was still pure. Pure enough anyway. He believed in Cobra Kai. They both believed they created the best and have nothing to fear. They weren't going to lose. Fear may not exist in this dojo, but apparently insurance policies do. So I'm not in love with Silver bribing the ref. It's not just that it taints the whole tournament, it shows something about his character. Silver doesn't have the absolute confidence in Cobra Kai that you would expect. Sure, you can say that's from experience, they lost before. I just want to make sure this time we win. You can say Silver is like a snake. There's another reason all this happens and it has nothing to do with the characters. It's about you. Yes, actually in a way you play into this decision as well. At least it's what the writers want you to feel. It starts with the major plot points. The intention was always for season 5 to have chosen joining Daniel to combat the rising power and influence of Cobra Kai. Now in order for that to happen, Cobra Kai always needed to win the tournament. That's what makes Cobra Kai the growing threat. But then Terry Silver paying the referee isn't required for any of that from a story perspective. The problem comes down to Daniel LaRusso and how you, the audience, view him. 
they wrote themselves into a trap. The loser in the tournament shuts down. The winner stays. That was the bet. So the plot required Cobra Kai to win the tournament and expand across the valley. And then Daniel calls in Chosen to combat them. Except that inherently means Daniel has to renege on his deal. When Daniel does that, he looks bad. He looks horrible. Daniel is trying to carry on Mr. Miyagi's principles and honor is one of the most important principles. There's no honor in backing away from a bet just because you lost. In that case, you, the audience, would lose respect for Daniel. You would feel like he crossed the line and dishonored Mr. Miyagi. Besides, Mr. Miyagi said, Win, lose, no matter. You make good fight and respect. It's okay lose to opponents, must not lose to fear. So one of the most important lessons Mr. Miyagi taught Daniel is don't worry if you lose, it's okay to lose. That is the exact opposite of Daniel's approach here. All that Daniel is focused on is that they lost. It's not okay that they lost. They need to regroup, retrain, and fight back harder. Daniel may have done some questionable things earlier in the series. It caused some people to label him the villain. He's always had his reasons though. But this abandoning of Mr. Miyagi's most basic principles would be a bridge too far for you to accept. So they have Daniel say, There's too much at stake to honor an agreement made with men who have none. And to justify Daniel saying that, they include Terry Silver paying off the ref. So you know unambiguously that Terry Silver has no honor, and Daniel is completely justified in what he is doing. Obviously Daniel doesn't know that, but he assumes Silver is crooked and dishonorable. The plot provides just that. The funny thing about it all is I do think Kreese would have shut down had they lost. It may just be me, but I felt like since the moment the deal was struck at the end of Season 3, Kreese was thinking this is his last chance to prove Cobra Kai is the best. That is why he went to Terry Silver in the first place. But ultimately, if he lost, he wouldn't have that glory. He knew he had one shot, and if he lost, then it was all a lost cause, and he would go away. But that didn't happen. Terry Silver made sure of that. And best of all, it justifies Daniel sticking around. So in summary, Terry Silver absolutely had to bribe the referee. If he didn't, Daniel can't team up with Chosen without looking like a dishonorable sore loser. So now you feel Daniel is justified. It's also worth looking at the effects of the bribing, again for the character and the audience. Tori is crushed, obviously. She so desperately wanted to look at that trophy and know she was the best. The only people who are crushed more than Tori are the Tori fans. These fans like her, empathize with her, and admire her I won't take no shit attitude. They desperately wanted to see her come out on top. Because hey, all fans want to see their favorite character come out on top. So yes, you are crushed. At least those of you who are Tory fans, you wanted a win. It's like the message of the show is if you're poor and disadvantaged, you should just quit now because no matter how hard you work, you will never get a good clean win. You wanted or even needed Tory to win because you needed a win in your own life. A moment to look at that trophy and say, yes, it is possible. But it's tainted. It's all tainted. How would it have gone had Silver not paid the ref? We'll never know for sure. It's in the past and will forever be in the past. Tori went home that night and showed her mom the trophy. Her mom was probably the happiest she'd been in a long time. Tori would leave it there. She wants her mom to be happy. Her mom will probably die happy that her daughter won the All Valley Tournament. That just makes it more painful on Tori. In a way, the show has undermined the importance of the All Valley altogether. The entire sports genre relies on the big game, the big match, where your hero triumphs. That was ultimately the key in the Karate Kid movies, why they were so successful. Daniel overcame his obstacles and triumphed in the big match. Four seasons in and Cobra Kai has refused to match that resolution. Tori won but the ref was bribed. Hawk won, but Robbie was distracted by something that was far more important. Plus, Hawk didn't have to fight Miguel. What would have happened if he fought Miguel for the full match? He very likely may have lost. Like Tori, he will never know. It's enough to leave doubt. Was he really the best around? Or did he just get lucky? Maybe he wouldn't have been the champion after all. And then there's season 1. 
Miguel wins the tournament while mostly mirroring Daniel's story from Karate Kid, except the show frames the win as Miguel fighting dirty. He attacked Robbie's injury and even pulled his arm down. Miguel got the trophy, but can you say it's a clean win? The show wants you to think it wasn't. Daniel even said it wasn't honorable. The scene with Johnny chastising him along with Hawk finalizes that point. That means no more cheating. No more fighting dirty. So Johnny even called Miguel's win cheating. The show insists Miguel had no honor in his victory. Miguel had overcome so much that year, but then the show frames his win as dirty and tainted. It's like the message of the show is, if you're poor and disadvantaged, you should just quit now because no matter how hard you work, you will never get a good clean win. In four seasons, we have three All-Valley champions and each one has an asterisk next to their win. Tainted, questionable, dishonorable, they all apply. All you want in the sports genre is what Daniel LaRusso got. The hero wins in a good, clean match because he is the hero. Then the runner-up gracefully hands the trophy. Part of the lessons in life is how to handle second place. Winners succeed often because they handle losing better than anyone. I'll address this more in a future video, but it doesn't help if every loss is colored with the idea that the match was rigged or illegitimate. I don't know what's coming in the future, but I doubt we can ever get to the original Karate Kid triumph point with all our characters anymore. Frankly, there's just too many of them. Maybe some of them, but I don't see how they all get there. So that's what Terry Silver rigging the tournament means. How do you interpret the actions? Does anyone have a clean All-Valley win? Leave a comment and let me know. Be sure to subscribe as there's always more coming. Have a great day. I'll see you at the next watch party.